Hello, 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 hello. How you guys doing? Um, habari zenu, habari za size. Good evening. Uh, siku ya leo tunakwenda kujifunza somo jipya. Somo hilo litakwenda kuzungumzia um letters, herufi, letters. Uh, katika lugha ya Kiingereza tuna takribani um herufi 26 we have 26 letters in the english language 26 letters and uh within those 26 letters we have um five vowels and 21 consonants five vowels and 21 consonants tuna herufi 26 katika lugha ya Kiingereza na katika herufi hizo 26 kuna herufi tano zinaitwa vowels ni herufi tano zinaitwa vowels na zingine 21 zinaitwa consonants consonants so kitu ambacho nahitaji msikilize kwa makini ni kwamba vowels ni muhimu sana sana sana. Ni muhimu sana katika uh, lugha yote ile. Haimaanishi ni lugha gani tunahitaji vowels. They're very important. The vowels are very important in every language because we need them in order to make sense of what we're doing. We uh, to make sense of what we're saying, of what we're writing, of what we're reading. We need vowels. In, in within the letters that we're going to use. Kwa hiyo tunahitaji vowels ni muhimu sana. Naweza nikakupa mfano jina la Afrika. Afrika tunajua kwamba ni continent ni bara. Kwa hiyo tukitoa ile herufi a na i ya Kiswahili tunabaki na herufi tatu. F C na R ndio zinabaki. Kwa hiyo zile vowels zimesha toka. Ukitoa hizo vowels, yani ni herufi tu ambazo zimebaki ambazo tunaita consonants. Na ukishatoa A na E, yani sio Afrika tena. Imekua F, R na C. Sio Afrika tena. Domana nimesema kwamba vowels ni muhimu sana. They're very important. So for example, the word Africa is a continent. If we were to take out the vowels A and I, it's no longer Africa. The remaining of the letters are F, R, and C. So that it won't make sense, no sense at all. It's not going to make sense because the only thing we have left are consonants. That's why I said that... Uh, the vowels are very extremely important in everything we do, write, speak, or read. We need vowels. Okay. So, kama nivyo sema, tunaherufi shirini na sita katika lugha ya kingereza na ndani ya hizo herufi shirini na sita. Tunaherufi tanu ambazo zinaitwa vowels na herufi shirini na moja zinaitwa consonants. Uh, unapojifunza lugha mpya hivyo ni vitu muhimu sana kwa sababu vinajenga foundation ya lugha. Uh, ndio maana tunaanzana na alphabet letters because you need we need them in order to to make sense of what we we're, we're learning. So within the, the 26 letters the five vowels are a e i o and u. A e i o u. Uh, hizo uh, herufi ambazo nime, nimetaja zinaitwa vowels ni a e i o u unajis yani katika Kiswahili ni vile vile a e i o u ndo vowels ambazo ni tano kwa hiyo katika hizo vowels tano a e i o u a e i o u each of the let the vowels have two sounds two sounds katika hizi herufi ambazo zinaitwa vowels 
a e i o u kila mmoja wapo ana kitu kinaitwa sauti sound na kila kila herufi hiyo ina sauti mbili ina long ina sauti inaitwa long sound na short sound long sound na short sound so herufi hizo zina sauti mbili zina sauti ndefu na sauti fupi kila herufi ambazo ndio hizi tano zin, ambazo zinaitwa vowels kila mmoja wako ana sauti hizi mbili ana sauti ndefu na sauti fupi zile zingine ambazo hazipo katika e group ya vowels ambazo zinaitwa consonants zile zina sauti moja kuna ndani ya hizo pia kuna zingine ambazo zina sauti mbili ila tutazungumzia kuhusu consonants next time usiku ya leo tunazungumzia tu vowels na majina yake na sauti zake okay so today we just going to focus on the vowels the, the vowels uh, the five vowels their names and their sounds okay like i mentioned earlier uh the five vowels each one of them has two sounds a long sound and a short sound and the vowels are a e i o u those are the five vowels and each one of them has a letter name and a letter sound and each one of them has two sounds a long sound and a short sound katika hizi uh, herufi tano ambazo zinaitwa vowels kila mmoja wapo ana jina lake na pia ana sauti yake na vile vile kila mmoja wapo ana sauti mbili sauti ndefu na sauti fupi hapa kuna vitu nimeandika kwenye uh, whiteboard kwenye kibao uh, ni kibao ni ba hata <laughs> sikumbuki kwa Kiswahili <laughs> lakini umenielewa whiteboard kwa kwa Kiingereza nimeandika hapa uh, ili niweze kuwaonyesha kwa kwa undani zaidi okay so sijui kama mnaona hapa let me change the camera okay All right. So nita change camera ili muweze kuona vizuri. Hapa nimeandika a uh, letter letter name, letter names and letter sounds. Letter names and letter sounds. Like I said earlier, they are 21 26 letters. 26 letters in the english alphabet letters and five of them five letters are called vowels and 21 of them are called consonants consonants and those vowels are a e i o u and remember i said each of these vowels has two sounds a long and a short sound each of this has two sounds long sound and a short sound kama nilivyosema awali tuna herufi 26 26 katika alphabet letters za Kiingereza tano zinaitwa vowels shina moja zinaitwa consonants na hizo vowels tano tunazihitaji katika lugha yote maana ni muhimu sana hizo vowels tano ni a e i o u a e i o u katika hizi vowels tano 
kila mmoja wapo ana sauti mbili ana sauti uh, sauti ndefu na sauti fupi long sound and a short sound na vile vile kila herufi um, ambayo iko katika group ya vowel ina jina lake na sauti yake endapo itatamka jina lake inamaanisha hiyo ni sauti ndefu endapo haitatamka jina lake inamaanisha hiyo ni sauti fupi so the five vowels have their letter name and the letter sound when a vowel says its name that means it's a long sound when a vowel does not say its name it simply means it's a short sound for example i wrote some words down here this symbol it means it's a long vowel it's a long i'm sorry it's a long sound this symbol that's going up means long sound the symbol that's going down it means it's a short sound so we're gonna go back here on consonants nimesema kwamba zile herufi zingine ambazo hazipo katika hii group ya vowels zinaitwa consonants ni b c d f g h j k l m n p q r s t v w x y and z those are the consonant letters they don't belong in the vowel family because they are not vowels they are consonants the vowel the vowels are a e i o u they are in a in a vowel family because they're very important we need them in order to make sense of the consonants okay and the consonants are down here so we're going to move on to the letter names and the letter sounds of these vowels the vowel family we're going to go uh, we're going to talk about each letter each letter with its name and its sound each of these vowels we're going to cover the letter names and the letter sounds kwa hiyo tunakwenda kuzungumzia vowels na sauti za vowels na na majina yake kama nilivyosema awali ni kwamba kila herufi kila vao ambayo iko katika familia ya vowels kila herufi ina sauti yake pia ina jina lake ila kingine ambacho tunahitaji mkumbuke kwa ziada ni kwamba kila herufi pia ina sauti mbili sauti ndefu na sauti fupi long sound and a short sound so we're going to start with the letter a letter a is the first letter in the alphabet letters letter a it's already saying its name it says hey my name is a can you see me can you hear me in the word april april okay so nataka ni change camera ili muweze kuona jinsi ninavyotamka hizo herufi na sauti zake mpate kujua uh, jinsi ya kuzitamka okay so we're gonna come and uh, continue with uh the letter the letter names and the letter sounds kama nilivyosema awali hizo nani vowels ambazo tunahitaji ni muhimu sana katika uh, uh, alphabet letters ni vowels tano na nimesema kwamba kila mmoja wapo ana sauti hizi mbili pia ana, ana jina lake na ana sauti yake 
Kwa hiyo tuna, tunakwenda kuzungumzia sauti na majina ya hizo vowels. Herufi ya kwanza katika vowels ni A. Na pia ndo herufi ya kwanza katika alphabet letters. The letter A is the first letter in the vowel family and it's also the first letter in the alphabet letters. Letter A. Letter A, that's the name of the letter. That's the name of the letter. Hilo ndo jina la hiyo herufi. Inaitwa A. Kwa Kiswahili inaitwa A. Ndo jina lake hilo A. Nimesema endapo itataja jina lake, inamaanisha hiyo ni sauti ndefu. Endapo isipotaja jina lake, inamaanisha hiyo ni sauti fupi. Okay? So, tunaelekea sasa kuzungumzia majina ya kila herufi katika vowel family na sauti zake. Herufi ya kwanza ni A. The letter A is the name of the letter and that means it's a long sound because we hear the name, we hear the the sound A and also we can see it in the, in the word. For example, the word April. 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 Do you hear the letter A in April? That's a long sound because it says its name in the word April. It's telling you that, hey, my name is A. Do you hear me in April? Do you hear me? Do you see me in the word April? Can you hear me? April. Can you see me? April. That means it's a long sound. A. April. Apron. 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 Airport. Airport. That means it's a long sound. We're going to move on to the short sound of the letter A. The short sound of the letter A is, you ready? A. A. As in, Apple, Apple, ah, 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 Apple, ah, Africa, ah, Amina, ah, Alligator, ah, Apple, ah, Amina, ah, Africa. A. Alligator. So, tumesha zungumzia herufi A. Ina sauti hizi mbili. Ina sauti ndefu na sauti fupi. Endapo ikitaja jina lake katika neno. Ikitaja jina lake. Inamanisha hiyo ni sauti ndefu. Kwa mfano, April. Umesikia A. Inasema A. A, A, April, April, April. Iyo na manisha kwamba ni sauti ndefu. Kwa sababu imesha taja jina laki. Tuende kwa sauti fupi. Sauti fupi, hau tosikia jina laki. Utasikia sauti tu. Hau tosikia jina la, la uh, ile herufi. Utasikia sauti yake tu. Kwa mfano. Africa. A, A. Africa. Umesikia amesema Africa. Haikusema Africa kwa sababu hiyo ni sauti fupi. Haiwezi kusema Africa. Kwa sababu sio sauti ndefu. 
ni sauti fupi. Sauti fupi zinasikika kama sauti yani kama majina ya, ya, ya herufi za Kiswahili a a kama vile acha acha a asante unasikia eh a acha a asante katika kiingereza ni vile vile ni a inatamkwa a a africa a alligator a apple umesikia eh kwa hiyo sauti sounds za kiingereza zinataka kufanana na majina ya herufi ya Kiswahili okay so twende sasa kwenye herufi inayofuata the next letter is letter e e letter e the letter e is a long sound you know why it's a long sound because it says his name it's like hey can you hear me in the word english english e e english e e english can you hear me can you see me my name is e i'm here in the word english umesikia ina imeshataja jina lake yani inamaanisha hiyo ni sauti ndefu katika neno english imeshataja jina lake ni e e english english so we're gonna go to the uh, short sound of the letter e the short sound of the letter e you ready the short sound of the letter e is e e e e e elephant e elephant e egg e egg e elephant e egg hiyo ndo sauti fupi ya herufi e inatamkwa e e e elephant elephant egg egg umesikia ni hiyo ndo sauti fupi that's the short sound of the letter e e e elephant e e egg the long sound of letter e is e e english e e evil e e even okay that's the long sound of the letter e e eagle e it e even e evil e english the short sound of letter e is e e e egg e e elephant <coughs> excuse my voice <coughs> e e egg e e elephant now we're gonna move on to the next letter which is letter i letter i the letter i it says its name already that's a long sound letter i is in the word ice cream ice cream or iphone iphone you can hear the letter i in the word iphone which means this is a long sound it means it's a long sound kwa hiyo imetaja jina lake umeshasikia jina lake inamaanisha hiyo ni sauti ndefu katika neno iphone iphone i i iphone i i ice cream okay that's a long sound we're going to go to the short sound which is a little bit tricky the short sound of letter i are you ready the short sound of letter i is e e e e india india e e india e e iguana e e iglu e e ichi 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 that's the short sound of the letter i it says e 
e india e e iguana e e iglu e e ichi okay that's the short sound of the letter i the long sound of letter i is i i ice cream i i iphone and the short sound of letter i is e e india e e iglu e e iguana e e ichi why your sauti fupi a herufi i in a tam kwa e india e iglu e iguana e ichi herufi na ufata ni herufi o herufi o the next letter is letter o letter o that's a long the long uh that's the letter name of the letter it's o the long sound it's o it stays the same because it says its name an example of long sound o is orange orange open open o o orange o o open that's a long sound. It's a long sound. Okay? And the short sound of letter O. Are you ready? The short sound is. Yeah, I'm excited to say it. The short sound of letter O is. Watch me. Watch my mouth. Ready, set. Ah. Uh. Okay? Ah. Uh. Ah, ah, that's a short sound of letter O. It's ah, as in onion, onion, octopus, octopus, October, October, on, on, onion onion octopus octopus october october on on hiyo ndo sauti fupi ya herufi o inatamkwa unafungua kinywa chako wide open unatamka a a onion ah uh, october ah uh, octopus ah uh, on on ah uh. hiyo ndo sauti fupi ya herufi o herufi ya mwisho ni herufi u 